Hi, Chico. Joe Gorcha, WIS. Good to see you. Welcome back to Columbia. What does it mean to you to have this opportunity to be back in your home city playing for the Gamecocks? Uh, it feels good to be back home. Uh, I can't express it enough. Uh, I'm glad I got the opportunity uh, to come back to South Carolina after I uh, entered the transfer portal. And it's been good so far. Uh, and I know it's going to be good along the road. Michael and Anna. Hey Chico, Michael and Anna from the state newspaper. I was just asking James about this. I know you guys have history, you know, having played against each other in high school. Um, what has it been like just coming in together with him, coming back home and, and what's kind of your relationship been like and how's it evolved? Right, uh, it's great coming back home uh, with James. Uh, like I said, early, like you said earlier, we played uh, high school basketball against each other uh, multiple times, multiple games in high school. Uh, it feels good to know somebody that you're coming in with, um, especially uh, James being from Columbia. Um, definitely had a relationship before uh, coming in, and now our relationship is getting stronger each and every day. Uh, knowing, knowing his game, knowing where you like the ball, uh, stuff just like that, just having the connection. Mitch Brown? Hey, Chico, how's it going? It's Mitch Brown, Watch Fox here in Columbia. Um, I noticed you uh, got in on the NIL um, partnerships early on. How's that been working for you? And, and, and I guess, how did that come about? And, and uh, how do you plan to continue to use that to your advantage? Uh, yeah, uh, the NIL rule that was uh, recently passed has been great for a lot of uh, college athletes. And uh, I feel like it's going to grow as the season starts. And with me, I'm just taking it day by day, talking with my family and stuff like that. Colin? Chico, how do, you, how do you feel like you can help impact next year's team uh, from a skill set standpoint, from a leadership standpoint? Uh, I feel like uh, having two years under my belt in college uh, definitely helped me. Um, moving from the OVC to the SEC, uh, I guess people would say that's a big jump, but I feel like I'm ready for it. I've uh, been just working on my game, learning a lot. Uh, listening to uh, all the coaches that take just being a sponge and taking all the information in so uh, I can uh, help the team win this year. What's been the biggest thing that they've kind of told you? What's been the biggest lesson you've learned in the couple of weeks that now that you've been doing off-season workouts? Um, I learned a lot so far. Um, not even just on the court, but about my game. Uh, Learn the weight room is key to um, success. Because you got to be able to, your body got to withstand the players that we're going to play against this year in the SEC. Um, and really mentally, um, just knowing what to do, what spots to be in, uh, just listening to all the coaches. Joe Gorcha. Chico, how did this opportunity in particular come about? I mean, we know you entered the transfer portal, but what were some of the initial conversations and how did they come about with Coach Frank Martin? And in that conversation with Frank, what sold you that coming home was the right fit for you? Right. Um, entering the transfer portal can uh, can help you a lot. Um, I had a lot of different options coming out of the transfer portal, but uh, when Frank Martin called me and we just had an initial conversation, it felt like, Three years ago, when I was high, coming out of high school again, uh, it felt good to hear him say that he wanted me to come to South Carolina. And I talked it over with my family, and we made a decision to come here. Michael and Anna? <clears throat> uh, and both Frank Martin and Chuck Martin were talking last week about just the vibe around practices, how it's, it's been a lot of fun, a lot of just eagerness. I'm kind of curious, what what have you seen of that vibe and how much do you try to contribute to that, try to get guys energized, try to get guys, you know, kind of in that that vibe? Right, with uh, a, to a team full of uh, new faces, uh, we have a, we brought a lot of new energy. Um, we come to practice every day, ready to work, come to the weight room every day, ready to work. And like I said, having a new team, you got to learn and just listen to uh, what the coaches are saying and then execute it in the practice. But I feel like uh, we're coming together as a team, and I feel like our energy is um, being definitely consistent each and every day, and that's going to uh, carry us through the season. Colin? Chico, you kind of mentioned it with the new faces. There's a bunch of new guys. You, James, and Brandon probably knew each other before, but what um what's that been like, just trying to get to know everybody, have 
you guys gel? What do you guys do? How has that been? And what are some of y'all's activities you do outside of basketball? Well, we see each other uh, every day. We live in the same uh, vicinity every day. So it's hard to miss people. Uh, you know, like having a new faces, it could be hard to like gel. But I would say like us communicating in our group chat or us going to get food together, uh, us getting extra shots in the gym together, uh, bringing a teammate to the gym, whatever it is, and whatever it's gonna take for us to gel, having a new team, you're gonna have, you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna need a leadership role, and you're gonna need a team that's just well put together. And I feel like this summer uh, is a great way to start, and then rolling into the fall, we definitely gonna uh, keep doing the same thing. Joe Horcha, Chico, you just sort of mentioned some of those points, you know, for me in this upcoming question here. But what will it take, you think, to build that team culture to a place where this program? can get back on the winning side of things like they were just a couple years ago. Right. Uh, I, got, I would say we got to have everybody bought in. Uh, everybody has to buy into what Coach Martin is coaching us and his coaching staff. Uh, when all of us buy in, we're going to be a really good team. Mitch Brown? I'm sure you had a village out at Murray State, but for you to be back home um, and inside this program now, uh, are you feeling – like you're at a place where you're, where you're loved, you're feeling the love, you're feeling valued. And, and, and how does that affect you just in your daily life now? Yeah, I really feel love for sure. When I committed um, to the University of South Carolina and I put it out to the media, I got a lot of love from the city. Uh, it, it feels good to my mom. I can go home 25 minutes down the road, go get a home cooked meal. Um, my dad, my sister, everybody's behind me just supporting me. And I feel like when I see LA's pack and I see my family in the stands, uh, I feel like that's gonna push me to go harder each and every day. All right, looks like Michael's got the last hand raised here. We'll go to the last question to Michael and Anna. <clears throat> and this is the most important question. Um, you guys, you guys living together, uh, do you guys have 2K competitions at all or play games at all? Or do you have anything that you guys do? And if so, who's, who's the best? Uh, no, nah, I, don't, I don't. Me personally, I don't really play video games, but I know the other guys definitely hop on Warzone, 2K, all the different video games that's out now, and they're playing. I can hear them on a mic and stuff like that, just chopping it up. 